All right, so today's day three of the event. Everyone's kind of tired. Everyone went drinking last night and everyone's a little hungover and crabby. My car's all back together and it's working well, but it's been kind of spotty with rain and stuff. I don't have windshield wipers, so I haven't gotten too many practice laps just because I don't want to bin it again into the rail. So we're about to do Cash Kings. It's a comp where like everyone buys in and then it's like a bracketed call out comp with like 16 drivers, but there's like a, I think it's like a 9,000 Australian dollar prize purse. So it should be fun. There's a lot of good drivers, so I don't think I'm gonna do that well, but it uh, should be fun. and not flick very hard because it looks wet and I don't want to spin but then the other part of me is like I know that the tracks very grippy and I know that in order to get to the zones and do what they need us to do we need to be full throttle and full commitment so I don't know I don't want to crash the car but I also want to do well for all the people that came out to watch me drive so I'm gonna do my best all right so my first call out I called out Tom hey guys now, I probably wouldn't have called you out, but you said you weren't going to drive if I didn't call you out. So, what's going on with your car today? Uh, turbo gasket. Is, well, we don't actually, I'm not actually running a turbo gasket, it's leaking. So, it's down on power, it's laggy as hell, but make it work. Can't say no to a battle. So, local legend over here, probably one of the gnarliest shredders of this track. Sweet. Thanks, man. I wouldn't have called you out if you didn't have a bad turbo gasket. <laughs> it would have been suicide. I'm high boost for this one, so it'll yeah? All right, so should be fun. I actually got a buy run. I gave it up for you. Yeah, yeah. All right, you got a battle. Yeah. And going off track, <laughs> you were still dooring me yeah. at the end. Cheers, man. Uh, yeah, it was pretty messy, but I'm glad we got to run. Yeah. That was my game. best run I ever did as a lead. Was like my, my follow is so bad, I missed every single transition. Oh, like, really? Super delayed. Yeah, your car's fast, dude. It's really fast, even on four pound of boost, five pound, something like that. So, so it's a RB30 with a Neo head. Yeah, it is. Yep. High compression. High, Eleven to one. Yeah. Sick. It's pretty cool. I wish I wish it was working so I could drive it. Are you going to Tassie? Uh, if we can get on the boat, we could just do it. Well, I'll make some calls. 
If you guys know somebody that owns a boat, go to town. <laughs> let us know. <laughs> Alright, so we've moved on to the top eight. And I'll let you guys get a quick look at some of these cars that you might be familiar with or you might not. But it's a very cool selection of cars. Look at all this. So if you can see that car behind me, that's Dale and he won, what, last year? He's basically the undefeated champion that won last year and the year before. And he called me out. I thought I got to pick my call out, but I was dumb and waited too long, so probably gonna lose this one. to him eventually anyway. He'll go on to win it, so then in my head I can say that I got second. So when I threw it backwards, he actually uh, spun behind me. So we ended up getting a rerun. So hopefully I can do at least a little bit better this time. I don't think I'm gonna win, but at least put up a better fight than all those dumb straightens.
another rerun. I don't know why, but we'll see. He was right there, so 
mess up, we might have won because I know my lead was very good. So by FD rules, I'd be looking good. By these rules, probably not. I'm definitely stoked I was able to fare as long and as well as I did. I didn't expect to be able to uh, make it through that many battles. But in the end of the day, a lot of stuff like this does come down to consistency and I sometimes get a little bit uh, too excited and do things like that. So there'll still be a battle for third and fourth, but um, yeah, at least I got some good battles out of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching them. Cam Martin in first place, taking home $3,000 cash. Buy yourself a fresh iPhone case again. A little bit funny with you saying all of that. It's a trick, 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 order to trick. Can I call someone out? Yeah. Do you want to run? For 500 bucks? Yeah. 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 So as you can see, I did a little call out. A thousand bucks on the line. I'm going to lead first. You're going to lead first? Yep. <laughs>
it wasn't more dollars, well only 500 more dollars to Cam Martin. Round of applause to Cam Martin, win it again. What a winner. Awesome job guys, right. <laughs> All right, so it's officially the end of the event. I had a blast. This uh, street series is definitely something that makes it very easy to ruin a car. Uh, as you guys can see, there are a lot of crashes and all the different changes from dry to wet. But overall, kind of a great testament to how rad stock and simple SRs are. You know, I hit limiter for probably like three minutes back there doing burnouts. Didn't even throw a rocker. Car stayed super cool with the clutch fan. With how bad the crash was, it's uh, pretty not that bad for damage. It looks like I got a nice new wall piece in back with these Type X tails, but um, you know, gonna need a little body work. This car needs to be roadworthy, so I'm probably gonna need to figure out something with the bumper, because I gotta drive this over to Melbourne, and then it's gotta go on the boat to Tasmania. But other than that, somehow managed to keep it pretty clean, other than one little crack here. I saw some of you guys asking about a cage. We actually do have one that's paint matched just like my other car. It's a nice bolt-in Cusco cage, but we lost the hardware, so we weren't able to put it in for this event. Hopefully we'll have it in for Tasmania, along with some of the other little repairs. Overall though, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, there's a lot between all the comps and stuff. Very pretty area. I love Mount Gambia. Hopefully I can make it back here another time. It's so scenic, track so fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you let me know. Uh, sorry my videos have been all a little all over the place. I don't know where we're going next or what's gonna happen. I'll do my best to document it. But there's gonna be a lot of driving. We might end up back on uh, Tracy Grimm something show, whatever her name is. Yeah, so we'll see. We got some fun stuff planned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I gotta get a massive, massive thank you to Luke for uh, sorting everything out with that car because I mean, even if the trip was over here, getting to drive that car at this event, so worth it. How comfortable I felt in it compared to the other cars I've driven when I go to events to drive other people's cars. It sounded sick, I felt cool driving it. All the media looks super awesome. Just a really, really cool thing to do and I'm super, super, super appreciative. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. He's been posting a lot of cool stuff too. Links in the description and I will see you tomorrow. What's going on here? Uh, we're gonna go do a burnout. <laughs> Heck yeah. We had a little bit of a uh, crash earlier. I'm assuming it doesn't open? Uh, it doesn't open. <laughs> Let's do it. It's a good way to make the most out of a crash car. <laughs> That's right. Got one of those Pontiacs in your way. <laughs> Was that a Pontiac GTO? Yeah, it's an AU Falcon. Oh, is it? Yeah. Never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs>